Hi, my name is Robert Barnes, and we're here today to build the Amazing Plant Stand. The Amazing Plant Stand does a couple of important things for me. One, it allows me to garden vertically. A lot of plants in a small area. So if you have an apartment, a condo, a small deck, a patio, a lot of plants in a small area. Next, it allows me to containerize my plants. Mint in a garden area will take over, but mint in my plant stand will stay in the pot that I put it in. We're gonna to start today with standard clay pots because all of your standard clay pots all have drain holes and they're pretty much the same size wherever you buy them. We're also gonna use standard clay pots. Then we're gonna have right here some white decorative marble rock, miracle Go grow potting soil, and some shipping peanuts from our local UPS store. We're gonna start with the standard 12 inch base pot. We'll call it the base pot. The stand sits down in the, in the pot, and we're gonna fill it half full of rock. And first start, we wanna lay the rock in here. These are clay pots. Once we get to the point, we can actually pour the rest of it in. Okay. Spread it out. And as you can see, it's about half full of rock right there. Okay. Now, we need to plant this first pot. It's the only pot that isn't planted full. We only plant two sections of, the, of this pot because you can see there's three sections, one, two, and three. When the 10-inch pot comes down, it's got to have a place to set. So it'll set between two of those wings. It doesn't matter which two it sets between. But we're going to have it set to the right side. That means we're going to plant these two areas. So let's take it off, grab our potting soil. We'll just throw a little bit in there to start off with. Okay, we're going to start with some cherry tomato plants. We're going to put two of them in this back section and lean them out just a little bit. So they're leaning out outward just a little bit. Now if you want to keep your little information stick with you that's got how much watering it needs and how to fertilize it you can always just leave that in there with them all right let's add some potting soil more potting soil and the front part here we just kind of build it up a little bit possibly cover the wings but we know that they're there one more handful I think we got it. okay the first one's done now we're ready for a 10 inch standard pot. And we're going to bring it down, we're going to lean it to the right and nestle it between those two wings. It's good and stable. Now let's add some more up. We're going to lay it in. half full, maybe not quite half full. Okay, the reason for the rock in the bottom two pots is to build a heavy base and actually the 10 inch pot sits inside the 12 and right between two wings so the heavier the base we're not worried about high winds. Now let's go ahead and plant this one, a little potting soil. Okay, and let's go with some uh, Sweet peppers. I'm gonna put three of them in here. Good old sweet peppers. Again, I'm gonna leave a little information stick here. I'm not the smartest man in the world, so that'll help me. Now, the only thing we want to do with our top pots, our top four pots, is to call, I call it soil leveling. We want to level, level our soil from the front edge to the back. The reason is, so when I water it, water doesn't run off. 
Let's fill in a little bit at the back. Okay. So our soil actually runs straight here. And it's about maybe you might lose an inch and a half or so, but when I water this, the water goes straight down. Okay, let's go with our next 10 inch pot. Now that it's set, we're going opposite. Slide it down, lean it to the opposite side. No more rock, but we do, do need something that acts like rock, so we're going to add some shipping peanuts. It'll help hold the moisture in the pot, maybe an inch and a half or so. It keeps the potting soil in the pot, acts as a filler, and it, again, helps it drain. So, we've got that in there. Now, let's go with some rosemary. Well, maybe a little potting soil first, just to fill in. I think we can squeeze three in there. It's just a little potting soil. Again. Keep the potting soil level straight across so it's lower at the back than it is at the front. All right, now we're ready for our eight inch pot. Opposite way, a few peanuts. Oops, maybe a little bit less than this one. And uh, let's see, let's go with some. Uh, A little bit of potting soil on top of that. A couple more of these little plants. This potting soil. And we're almost finished, except for the last pot down, keep it the back end lower than the front. And last, we put it in our six inch pot. And here we don't need a whole lot of potting soil, or a lot of uh, peanut, just a little bit. There it is. A few peanuts there. Potting soil on top. And we're gonna put a little bit of mint in the top pot. Don't need a whole lot. A couple of small mint plants. Do just fine. There's a little bit of one right there. Okay. Put the soil lower at the back so the soil runs straight across. And there we have it. We'll go ahead and put that in there. The amazing plant stand is finished. Mm -hmm.